so today we are going to see about underground stem modification and leaf bulb it is condensed conical or convex stem surrounded by fleshy scale leaves they are of two types one tunicated bulb in which the stem is much condensed and surrounded by several concentric layers of scale leaves the inner scales commonly fleshy the outer ones dry they are they can be classified into two types simple tunicated bulb example alum aluminum sepa the second one is compound tunica bulb example allium sativa con this is a succulent underground stem with an erect growing tips the con is surrounded by scale leaves and exhibit nodes and internodes example colocasia rhizome this is an underground stem growing horizontally with several lateral growing tips rhizome possesses conspicuous nodes and internodes covered by scale leaves example zingiber officinale tuber this is a succulent underground spherical or globose stem with many embedded axillary buds called eyes example solanum tuberosum stem branching branching pattern is determined by the relative activity of apical meristem the mode of arrangement of branches on a stem is known as branching there are two main types of branching lateral branching and dichotomous branching based on growth pattern stems may show indeterminate or determinate growth indeterminate the terminal bud grows uninterrupted interrupted and produces several lateral branches this type of growth is also known as monopodial branching example polyalthia determinate the terminal bud ceases to grow after a period of growth and the further growth is taken care by successive or several lateral meristems or buds this type of growth is also known as sympodial branching example cycas now we are going to see about leaf leaves are green thin flattened lateral outgrowths of the stem leaves are the primary photosynthetic organs and the main site of transpiration all the leaves of a plant together are referred as to as phloem characteristic of a leaf leaf is a lateral appendage of the stem it is borne at the node of the stem it is exogenous in origin it has limited growth it does not possess apical bud it has three main parts namely leaf base petiole and lamina lamina of the leaf is transversed by vascular stands called veins function of the leaf primary functions photosynthesis transpiration gaseous exchange protection of the buds conduction of water and dissolved solutes are the primary functions of the leaf now we are going to see about the secondary function storage protection support reproduction 
are the secondary functions of the leaf. Parts of the leaf. Three main parts of the typical leaf are leaf base, petiole, lamina. Leaf base. Leaf base is otherwise called as hypopodium. The part of the leaf attached to the node of the stem is called leaf base. Usually, it protects the growing bud at its axile. Pulvinous In leguminous plant, leaf base become broad and swollen, which is known as pulvinous. Sheathing leaf base In many monocot families, such as Arachaceae, Gingerbraceae, Musaceae, and Poaceae, the leaf base extends into a sheath and claps part or a whole of the internode. Such leaf base also leave permanent scars on the stem when they fall. P2 It is otherwise called as stipe or mesopodium. It is a bridge between lamina and stem. Petioles are leaf stalk is a cylindrical or sub-cylindrical or flattened structure of a leaf which joins the lamina with the stem. A leaf with petiole are said to be petiolate. Example Ficus, hibiscus, leaves that do not possess petiole is said to be sessile. Example, Calotropus, lamina. Lamina is otherwise called as leaf blade or epipodium. The expanded flat green portion of the leaf is the blade or lamina. It is the seat of photosynthesis, gaseous exchange, transpiration and most of the metabolic reactions of the plant. The lamina is transversed by the midrib from which arises numerous lateral veins and thin veinlets. The lamina shows great variation in shape, margin, surface, texture, color, venation and incision. Stipules In most of the dicotyledonous plants, the leaf base bears one or two lateral appendages called the stipules. Leaves with stipules are called stipulate. The leaves without stipules are called extipulate or e-stipulate. The stipules are commonly found in dicotyledons, in some grasses, an additional outgrowth is present between leaf base and lamina. It is called legule. Sometimes small stipules like outgrowth are found at the base of the leaflets of a compound leaf. They are called Stipules. The main function of the stipules is to protect the leaf in the bud condition. Next, we are going to see about venation. The arrangement of veins and veinlet on the leaf blade or a lamina is called venation. Internally, the vein contains vascular tissues. Conventionally, venation is classified into two types namely reticulate venation and parallel venation.